Wait for a few to come in. I'm rolling. Wait for the people to slide through. Get it popping. Kia, what's up? Just start the live out. Hit the like button on your way in, please. Leah told me she was um going back with you a little bit. I'm chilling out. Where you phone that poop so you can text? You got to work tomorrow? T history in the building. I did a little quick pop up, baby. I know you got one coming on tonight, so I did a little quick one. Everything good. Just want to slide through real quick. I'm switching the channel up a little bit. I was done with the financial thing. I'm doing a little kick joint. Doing the sneaks real quick. Aaliyah E in the building. She just popped up. What time you live tonight, T? Oh, you got to work tomorrow, huh, Kia?
Yeah, I'm gonna uh, introduce some sneaks to the um, channel. I'm done with all that money talk. If ain't nobody got it by now, they on their own. My day was good. Took it all the way easy, got some rest. Now I'm up all night. At 12, I'm there. You go on at 12, I'm with you. Yeah, I'm a vamp with you. Stay away from that garlic and I'm with you. All night, we're going to get it popping. Oh, tomorrow or Friday? Yeah, mine was yesterday, so I'm off today, tomorrow, and Friday. Yep. Yeah, I'm trying, team, man. I'm just trying to get it in real quick. That's all. That's all. In and out. But I'm going to put some different stuff to the um, channel. I'm going to do the full reviews. Back to the full reviews full time. I want to do the um, sneaker um, reviews. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slide the car reviews in. That's going to be a little, it's going to be a little step. You know, it's going to be a process. Because you know the cars cross a bank roll from the car. You just can't go drop 60, 70 on the car and nobody just look at you. But I'm going to slide the cars in. And we're going to take it from there. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out which car to slide in, though. So I'm going to let the people decide which car to slide in. We ain't going crazy over the top with it, but I want to keep it like American Muscle. The Corvette, the Toyota Supra, the Hellcat, the uh, Ford GT500. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out which car I'm going to start off with, but we're going to go. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, I was, uh, yeah I'm, I'm going to pop through your live tonight. I'm, I'm going to get up on the panel for a second before they get with that crazy stuff. You know, I ain't with none of that. I'm going to get up there with you for a little bit. We're going to do our one, two, three, and I'm out. Kira T, what's up? Glad you stopped through to holler at us for a little bit. We just vibe and talking about new stuff to the um channel, what we're going to bring to the channel, some new stuff. Yeah, so I'm just trying to figure out what we're going to bring, something new. Cars, food reviews. We're not doing no all processed foods, though. No McDonald's, no Wendy's. You want upscale with it? Nice food won't hurt you. You ain't gonna worry about cholesterol, blood pressure, none of that. So you gonna keep it a bucket the food reviews. But on top of that, the cars. Everybody love fast cars, so everybody tell me bring the cars into the videos. So what I gotta do? I can do what the people tell me. I gotta bring the cars into it. One, two, three, A, B, C. <coughs> What's that? Hey, Big T, you the chef on the streets. I'm the prison chef. I'm challenging anybody on cooked prison foods, two dishes, the winner get a thousand, and that's what it is, man. So anybody out there who cook prison stuff, I'm just seeing people online cooking that garbage. I got, I got the hookup. I'm challenging anybody. A two-dish course, thousand dollars. You put a thou up, I put a thou up. I'm going to take both of them. So, T, put that out there, T. All them prison dudes that said they cook like that and all that, line it up, T, and we're going to get our cook on. Winner takes all. Yeah. You're going to get a pop and switch the channel up a little bit. Because <clears throat> you get a lot of guys that do the sneaker thing. Everybody's stuck on the Jordans. They stuck on the... I, I like to buy sneakers that I like to wear. So I'm going to do different. I killed the Jordans all through the early 90s. The Air Max 95s. I did all of that. So I'm bringing the sneakers that I want to bring to the channel. And, you know, put my review on them. But, you know, what inspired me to buy them? What I was thinking about, because a lot of my sneakers are retro from like the early 90s 
in early 2000s and mid 90s. You know, I'm not really with the Jordan and the the dunks and the foam posits. I just like comfortable sneaks and sneaks you can really grind to. Yeah. Who come on the show tonight, T? Yeah, cause they got a lot. They got a lot of um, it's a lot of confusion on the YouTube streets right now. A lot of drama going on. Yeah, I'm not doing the Jordans. I'm doing, oh, I got some nice joints. I got, I got some joints in the cut. I got some nice joints. What time are we going on, T? Yeah, um, yeah, I'm not doing no Jordans. I'm not doing no, um, I'm not doing all that crazy stuff. I got some nice joints. I'm going to pull a couple out in a little while. I ain't going to wait too late because I'm going to stay up here for about 45 minutes. Get ready for T, T History joint tonight. We're going to rock from 12. You know how T do it the five, six in the morning. He go hard with it. Yeah. But check it out. <clears throat> I got that slime green box. I'm kind of mad, though. The Air Mac 90 joints, right? Crispy. Didn't wear them yet. I used to kill these things back in the 90s. The crazy part about it, they got these in the outlet for like 90 bucks right now, and I paid 150 for these joints. So it's a good deal. You run out to one of them sneaker outlets, you get these joints for $90 right now. It's like a $60 discount on these joints, so you can run and grab them joints. Crispy. Yeah, I bought these um, months ago. I just been saving them for the corona to be over, but it ain't happening, so... I just got to do what I could do with them. But they on sale for like $90 if you want to go grab some. Good deal on them joints. 12 o'clock after the game, I'm with you. What's up, Jack? T.O.P., top of the hill in the building. We got my man Landy Land in the house. We just chilling, vibing, talking about what we're going to bring new to the channel. I was just telling everybody, um, it's time to bring the cars into the channel. Good food reviews, no processed foods. And we're going to bring the sneaker game in. I'm not talking about the Jordans and the phone posits and the LeBrons. I want to talk about the sneakers that the average dude like to wear, street wear, comfortable, on your feet for hours. It's going to hold the body up good. So, you know, that's what I want to bring to the channel. I was just telling everybody, I bought these joints months ago. I paid like a buck fifty for these joints because I didn't get them when they first came out. They crispy, they've never been worn. I paid a buck fifty for these joints and the outlets got them for $90 right now. So that's a crazy steal. If you're looking to get some of them, um, them Nike Air 90 joints, crazy comfortable, and they're going to they're gonna hold you down like four flat tires for real. <clears throat> yeah, I know you're from Beantown. You like the Adidas. I know that. The threes, you heard? I already know. OP, the Adidas in the building. I know. I know you don't rock with them um, uptowns at all. Strictly cone tips, you heard? Yeah, the Air Max, yeah, they're comfortable sneakers, real nice. Yeah, but I'm trying to switch it up. I'm not doing no Jordans. I'm not doing them. I'm tired of that. Wore the Jordans all through the 90s, early 2000s, phone posits, LeBrons. The joints ain't right. People just love them. They swear by them. And the Travis Scott, some things horrible. People love them, Travis Scott's and all that. They wear those sneakers. I ain't wearing that. The joints flat. Like, like you flat footed at all times. I ain't rocking with that. 
Yeah, them classic joints. <coughs> Hold on, I'm going to show you something real quick, Top. You know, a lot of people were talking about the movie Snowfall. I was like, I'm not rocking with Snowfall because it's the, the Freeway Ricky Way story. Freeway story and um, uh, they got it wrong. So I was like, I ain't rocking with it. So my man convinced me to get on the show, the, up on the show. I start watching it, and the dude Franklin killed me. When I saw Franklin rock these joints, man, they crispy, never warm. I had to hunt them down. The all white black striped sambas with the eraser bottom. I had to hunt these joints down, man. These joints are super classic. I got the black and white ones too, but when I was watching Snowfall, homie had these joints on. I said, yo, I got in the car. I went by like eight stores. I found them. These joints are super duper classic. Nah, sneaky ain't up your alley. Sneaky's way up my alley. I'm gonna do this, you heard? Yeah, I got some joints. I got some nice joints. I'm gonna break out. I got some nice joints. I got a crazy lineup. Yeah, that Adidas. I knew T was gonna like the Adidas. I said, let me bring a couple out for him because I know he's from B Bean Town and they play with the Adidas hard. Yeah, kid, I love them joints. I ain't even wear them yet. <clears throat> Trying to wait for that corona to get over so I can really wear them the way I want to without the mask, have the outfit looking nice and crispy. It's hard to, it's hard when you got that mask on, it throw the whole outfit off. So I'm just trying to, you know. The Teller family was good. Salute in the building, came to stop through. Yeah, I'm just telling everybody I'm switching the channel up. Sneakers, sneaker reviews. I'm doing full reviews, no process stuff. And I'm, and I'm trying to sneak the cars in here. It's going to be a task, but I'm going to get it done. I ain't sweating that. I'm trying to figure out which car I'm going to get. If it's going to be the uh, the Corvette C8, or it's going to be the Toyota Supra, or it's going to be the Hellcat. I'm trying to figure out all that Ford GT500. All four of the joints is winners. I can't lose with neither one of them. So just trying to find out which sneaker I'm going um, to pop it off with and take it from there. Thanks, family. I'm trying, trying to do what I can do. That's all I can do. You know, chicken, chicken dinner, trying to be a winner. That's all. But inside the sneaker game, I'm a rookie. You know what they say? Every rookie deserves a cookie. I'm just trying. I'm trying to get the sneaker game tight, show people what I like and what I like to wear, and see if you guys like it and review them joints. I let that Corona slip, slip, trying to slip up on your boy, but I ain't gonna let it. Gary Bush, my homie, what's up, baby? My boy G in the building. Yeah, that, yeah you know what, G? I ain't gonna lie, G. That message stuff is over. I talked what I had to talk already. If nobody getting the picture, that's on them. I'm just trying to do my thing, man. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I got some joints, man. The cut, man. I got some joints that are cut like a band-aid, some real hitters. I'm gonna I'm gonna break them joints out all month long and just hit them hard. But like I said, I ain't going with them J's. I'm done with that that J stuff. Hey G, you around the way, G? Where you at? You got G Bush in the house. You already know he's in the building. Mouth watering, cut it out. Yeah, and um Hooch is on them um the vexes too. He looking like they ain't no tomorrow neither. He looking for them joints. We gotta make them joints happen. We gotta break them joints back. We gotta find them flavors. Yeah, I like them too. That's why I got them. <clears throat> yeah, I'm trying to find out which cars we're gonna play with. So if anybody if anybody got any um, suggestions. What kind of cars people like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna play hard with them with these sneaks, but I'm doing like throwbacks for the '90s, 2000s, early 2000s. Nothing past like 2002, cause everybody went Jordan crazy and Uptown crazy and the full posits and the Lebrons and the I ain't, ro I ain't rocking them joints. 
Uh, yeah, we got to get it right. Another joint. I'm going to break out on you. Boom. All gray with a silver reflector in. 575 end cap New Balance. The leather joints. Crispy. Never been worn. Throwback joints. Crispy. Brand new. I'm content. Salute. Thank you for popping up. I just came through to talk a little bit. Afro, salute. Thanks for coming through. We just talking about the revamps to the channel and all that. How are we going to switch the channel up? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to bring some different things to the channel. We're going to bring some um, full reviews. We're bringing the sneaker game back. And we're going to bring cars to the channel. So, you know, we've got to bear with it and let the process happen. And it's going to go. <coughs> I'm content. I still got that cough. Yeah. Yeah, but these gray joints is crazy right here. The 574 end cap. Gray leather with the reflector in. Hard getting them joints right there. Crispy. Never been worn. I got some joints. Yeah, it's one of my sneakers. I'm not worried I'm not worried about them Jays and Travis Scott's and all that. And then and the, the mixed stuff is, I ain't wearing none of them. Uh-uh. No. What sneaker you guys like out there? What's your favorite joints? What sneak shoes like? I know you just got to like something. What you guys want to see from the channel? Like I said, which cars you guys want to see and all that. T, I'm going kind of crazy. <coughs> I ain't going to bust them all out in, in one shot, T, but, you know, the clip is loaded, and I'm going bananas with it. And it's, and it's not a game. It's not a game, T. I'm going to break one more pair out, T, and I, I'm, I'm done for the night, man. I'm going to sneak note. We're going to vibe after this. <coughs> Swampy Acres Homestead, salute. Thanks for coming through. we just vibing, talking about the new stuff I'm going to do to the channel. We're doing sneaker reviews. We're doing full reviews. And I want to introduce cars once I leave. So I might do a house review too because I'm moving in a couple months, three to four months. So, <clears throat> you know, yeah. T, I'm, I'm going to bounce on the sneaks after this. This is the last period I'm going to show you, T. I got the 575 in cap. I got the cognac joints with the cognac in. Not two people got these joints, T. Super, never been worn before. Super crispy. Crazy right here. Crazy. These are crazy right here. When I'm drinking green tea or black right now, I'm on that, I'm on that um Ciroc right now. <laughs> That's Ciroc. <rock. coughs> I need the five sub these the five seven five five seven fours right here. The end cap joints. Yeah. I, I, I broke the um I broke the um these brown ones out cognac. Then I had the gray, then I had the gray joints too, the master joints. They brand spanking like Abe Lincoln. So that's what we're gonna go at with them. Just a couple of pair more bus out tonight. Yeah. The gray and navy blue, yeah, them joints right too. I got a pair of those. I'm gonna bust them out, but not tonight. Yes, I got them. Self-love always, salute. Thanks for coming through. We just vibing talking about the channel talking about sneakers and the way I'm going to revamp my channel and just try to take it to the next level. And also I want to do some, um, I want to go out and just help people that's less fortunate too. That's going to be like the most biggest part of my channel I'm going to do, helping less fortunate sneaker review. I'm going to do the um, cars and I definitely want to do the full review. So, you know, I just want to have fun. It's time to have fun with it. And when you start this YouTube thing, you get addictive. It becomes like a habit. You run yourself crazy. You run yourself crazy, and um, <clears throat> you just want to just do um serious, serious, serious. But now I'm just gonna have fun, man, and do what I want to do, and not even worry about the views or the 
or the subscribers or the watch hours. I just want to have fun with it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. But um, if you thought them leather joints was crazy, the original joints, suede ones, 574 suede with the um silver reflector. Bottom is Chrissy never been worn. I could go all night with them joints. These joints is crazy. Yeah, so I'm just trying to break my joints out slowly but surely. Now, I don't like shell toe Adidas. I've never had not one pair. I had the black with the whites. I don't like shell toes like that. Yeah, I don't like shell toes. I don't play with the shell toes. <coughs> Tanya, pump faking. She loved them. She loved them um, cone tips. She had about 10, 10 pair of them joints. I don't know why she pump faking. Yeah, I got a couple Stan Smiths, the blue boxes. I got, I'm going to bust a couple Stan Smiths out tonight. I got some Smiths, too. Mi Mr. Smiths, I got some Smiths. Yeah. Yeah, them joints is fire. I play with the Stans. Yeah. But, I, yeah. Miss Leon Life, salute. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for coming through. We just busting it up, having some fun, getting away from the norm, from everyday life. Just sitting back, having some fun. If you got some questions, hold up. <clears throat> yeah, Tiny Love, not nah, Tiny Love to do this too, though. Hey, L, peep this, L. I got some silver Stan Smiths. Ain't too many people seeing these joints right here. The silver joints. It look like they're from the Wiz, but when you throw that ensemble on right, they crazy. People, a lot of people haven't seen them silver joints. Them silver joints is crazy. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah. L, I got the flamingo joints too with the bubblegum eraser. Stan Smith joints. Crazy. Crazy joints. Stan Smith's. Them joints is crazy right there. I got some joints. I got some Smiths too. Yeah. And I had them in the cut. Just showing some of the joints off like that. That's it. <clears throat> Tanya flooded me. Yeah, she trying to flood me with my joints. She taking them down up off the shelf. I got, I got a miniature stadium good here. I wore these joints like twice, but you know these things is crazy. The original classic Dastics, you know the, the green and white joints. I keep them in the cut just here, little some all white. I do a little retarded with the green on them, so that's why I'm playing with them joints. But it's all good. But definitely, I want to know what, what kind of sneak you guys like. I'm content. You like the um, you like the uh, cell tools, okay? I can't play with them shell tools. They flat feet. My feet hurt after wearing them for 10 minutes. Feet start killing me. The feet start hurting crazy. Yeah, the Ivy Parks, yeah, they nice. Yep. Yeah, I'm just breaking them out slowly but surely. <coughs> Maybe bring that Uzi out. Happy Lux. What's going on, homie? In the building, salute. Yeah, I love those Adidas. I like the cone tips. They look big. But I wear a size 13, so I can't play with them. Yeah, yeah, man. I got some joints. I got some joints, man. Right now, I'm saving them for like the later joints, but I can go all night joints that I ain't even put my foot in yet. 13. Let me get them going. Yeah, but I was trying to switch up. Like you know, I had a serious side of the um the channel. Talked about because I don't want nobody saying, well, 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 how how are you doing this? How are you? I explained everything already. Now it's time to have some fun. So I don't want no question down the line. And I'm not monetized. Don't act like I'm busting YouTube money down. I'm about to have a bunch of fun. And you know it is what it is. That's all. A bunch of fun. Tanya pushing my buttons right now. She grabbing joints after joints. 
I'm gonna break these are my last pair I'm breaking out. These joints are called micro pacers. I was gonna kill these in the summer, I had a crazy outfit for them, but the corona shut all that down because it got crazy with the mask and social distancing, no clubbing, no restaurants and all that. But these joints right here is crazy. I know T history gonna love these joints, Adidas joints, silver, fluorescent, the blue, a little bit of white. These and look at the bottom, never been worn before, crispy. These joints is crazy right here. Crazy. These crazy right here. I got some joints. I got I got about 50 pairs of joints. I ain't even put my foot in. New joints. <coughs> Not even the old ones. It's time, it's time to run it's time to run it up right now. Sat back, chill. Everybody had their fun. I'm walking around with the janitor, the, the janitor outfit on, playing my position. And I was trying to have fun. Yeah. Thank you, I'm content. Thanks. Just having fun with the sneaks. Yeah, Key, I got some joints. I got some joints. <coughs> yeah, Top, I know you killed the silver joints. You know, in the tunnel days when we came through with the silver jackets, you and Mary was the only two had them Sherlins in the, in the state of New York. You know I remember that. People don't know about that. They don't know about the silver Sherlin. Before Puff had them. Before Puff threw them dudes in them shiny suits, we been had that weed. You already know. You already know. But yeah, we just <coughs> trying to have fun with the channel. Bust it up. Nobody talking about the sneaks they like. Why do you talk about nothing? They're like, what sneaks you guys like? The Nikes, the Adidas, the Reeboks. <coughs> Only sneaks I'm not rocking with is no um, I'm not rocking with no um, no Reeboks. After Shats went out with them joints and the um, the um, what's the joints? The pumps. I fell off with them joints. Yeah, I don't even I don't even rock Reeboks no more. I know the chicks rocks the old the old school joints, the lime green and the hot pinks. But I'm not doing no Reeboks. I might slide with some white or black plastics, but as far as that's going to go. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, but you're right. I got to get some um, black tea, green tea with the, with the, um, the, with the ginger in it, with the honey, the lemon. No felines. Stop playing with me. <coughs> we do it all over here. You got to do it all when you're playing with the sneaks. You got to do it all. You're going hard on me tonight, kid. You're going to put me up there like that? Stop playing. We'll break the 88 joints back. These ain't the white or leather. These got the, 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 the tennis joints with, with the vents in them. You see them? With the white, with the eraser bottom too. Crazy. I wore these joints one time at the club one night. I had a feline suit on, shut it down. Dripping crazy. Yeah, we do we do it all over here. No felines. We playing with felines. We're talking 88 with the felines. And I was a young boy then. I didn't even have nothing, but I wanted some. So I had to get the throwback joints and... Please, no fee lies. Stop playing. <coughs> yeah, them joints crazy, the fee lies. Where the paper at? Yeah. They're crazy. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Key, I got to get you on that fee lie weave. Fee lie is a lot. Ill joints. Or the throwbacks. They ain't got the, the new stuff ain't too right with the thick hills, but the old throwback joints, oh, you can't beat them joints. You got the black, the red, the blue, the white, the off-white, the tans, the Gucci color joints with the with the the black, red, and the green. They're crazy. Can't beat them right now. You like them joints? Me too. I make two of us. Yeah, the glory sweatsuits. 
Yo, Zap, when you come up, man, we gotta go see Dap and Dan, man. We gotta go up there, have them making some joints up. Not that loud stuff. We're gonna get the regular, regular joints and keep it pushing. We gotta go up there, man. A lot of dudes going up there, but they're not getting nothing made. They're not getting nothing made. <coughs> they're not getting nothing made. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> and, and if everybody that, that, that's, that's, don't think I'm pump faking. And I'm buying average joints. I'm not just I'm not just buying joints that because I can't afford them. Because you know, we playing with Balenciagas too. We playing with the two thousand dollar sneakers. We got them joints. It ain't about nothing. We playing with those off-white joints. You know, never mind the off-white Jordans, off-white Balenciaga joints, you know, the size in the front, official tissue like a ref with a whistle. We got everything. We got everything over here. The Bo Jackson's crazy. But we got joints, so I don't want nobody to be like, yo, you going, now nah, I'm going with what I like. Griffins fired too. Yeah, they are. Them Griffins is crazy. Them King Griffins is crazy. The Bo Jacks with the um the fluorescent joints with the blue and the white New York Knicks colors, can't beat them. The top 10 best sneaker of all time. Yeah, we got Balenciaga's on deck. We got phone posits. We got phone posits that have been worn. We got about 15, 20 pair of phone posits that's on deck that's never been worn before. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, we got them joints on deck, man. The Barclays good. Barclays super good, too. Yeah. With my, with my, um, my Nike joints, the, um, the joints I got from the city, I had some crazy joints. Oh, damn, where they at? Yeah, I got I got some. I keep saying it's my last pair, but <coughs> nah, the um the, the two tone joints. I got a crazy pair. I got I got my um I got my clerk checking the sneaks out in, in storage real quick. So if you see me looking away, I'm just trying to guide with it with, 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 which aisle she got to go in. At the bottom, the bottom, the bottom one. That's it right there. Yes, we in the building. <coughs> Put those right there, please. I got my assistant over here. She working hard. It's hard, but it's fair. Victoria Cliche, how you doing? Salute. Glad you stopped by. We just topped it up. I got, I got, I got, a, I got my man. He go by the name of Mar Marlon Smith. We call him Landy and Top. That's like a five-star general right there. Nobody higher than him but the president. So we got to double salute him. You know, he took some of his time to stop through with us, and you know what it is. The Harachis, I, my feet are big. Harachis run small, so I got to wear like a 14, and I refuse to wear anything 14, so I stay away from the Harachis. And I stay away from that because I can't. Even the, um, the Air Max 95s, they run small, so I wear 14 in those too. I'm not doing those. I can't. Yeah, I'm lurking with you. Lurking and hurking. <clears throat> these these right here, I got a top sneaker on. Um, I got a top, like my top three. I got my New Balance first. And then I got my Air Max 90s. But I fell in love with these nights right here. These are the Freak Zoom 2s. One of these joints is blue with the crazy color scheme. Brand new, never been worn. They're crazy with it. Sneaker is so crazy. This is probably the best sneaker I've seen in my life. That's the right sneaker. Now the left sneaker come with the green scheme, purple, with the fluorescent pink, with the orange string, with the purple, and black bottom, and these joints got the black and fluorescent bottom. This is probably the best sneaker I've seen in my life. The Nike Air Freak Zoom 2. These joints, I think I, I don't think I never, I got two pair of these joints. I don't think I never wear these joints a day in my life. <coughs> I'm gonna say them joints forever. <coughs> wow, the 1992 Andre Agassiz, that'd be a hunt, for, a hunt like the Red October.
T history, you know, you know I gotta do it, baby. If we gonna do it, we gotta do it right. Ain't no pump faking over here. If we if I tell you it's cheese on the moon, bring crackers, you heard? If I tell you it's cheese on the moon, bring crackers. It is what it is, and it ain't what it was. Yeah, I'm just getting it done, man. I'm trying to just switch my whole channel up. And those around me, I want to help switch their channels up too if it's possible. You know, I got some great ideas, and I've been saying that for like two weeks. But I've been putting, I've been putting my mind at work. I'm gonna reach out to those I rock with, and you know, I want to produce a couple of um, a couple of um shows on the channels. It might be four to six episodes, where it's like a production done. You know, where everybody paid. The moderators gonna get paid on their channel for the show. They're gonna get um, I'm paying for the props. I'm paying for the time. You know, I got two good people in mind that two shows that I want to try, four to six episodes of it. And if it works, we can keep it going. <coughs> Victoria Sniche, thank you for um, sharing me out. Salute, thank you for that. We just vibing, talking about the channel and best ways to change it up. I want to change my channel up, you know. I talk consciously to the people and I talk finances a little bit. But coming up shortly, I'm going to talk about a little bit more in depth about the stocks. I'm gonna tell you what stock you should buy, you know, how much you should put in it. Well, I'm not talking number amount, I'm talking about percentage of what you have. I'm not gonna try to tell somebody to break the bank. <coughs> yeah, them Agassiz is crazy. You talk AT, that's that's my big, big homie right there talking, you know. I'm the where I'm from, I'm the big homie. That's the big, big homie. That's all I'm gonna say about that. But um, I'm gonna switch the channel up and just have some fun with it. We're doing food reviews, sneaker reviews. And we definitely going to introduce cars to the channel. So if you guys got any cars that you like, that you think would be a good fit for me that you don't see out there in our community, let me know. <coughs> and I'm going to bust some things out. <coughs> definitely. Yeah, we just going to have fun. I got to watch the time, too, because I know T coming on a little bit. About an hour, we're gonna flood T crazy, and we're gonna vibe. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be on on T show for the first X amount of minutes before the um for the weirdos come in with that crazy talk. I ain't for the crazy talk, but they be going hard on the T the T channel. T got them all, small through tall. T got everybody coming through. <coughs> T be having that joint lit all through the. If you work third shift, I do third shift here and there. Yo, I rock with T. I throw the joint on. I'm vibing. And I'm vibing. I'm vibing with T crazy. Yeah. So what's up with the cars? Nobody got no cars they like? <coughs> I like that four-door Wrangler too. Jack it up. Throw the big wheels on it. Throw the crazy LED lights all around it. Tin it. Stupid system. Have fun with that. <clears throat> it's time to have some fun. It's enough sitting back, being humble. You know, I'm all <clears throat> I'm all out of humble pie. <clears throat> That's over. I had my last slice. I had my last slice of humble pie. Last slice. So I'm done. I'm done with that. I'm just trying to have some fun and go with the flow. Bring the people with me. <clears throat> we all can do it. Same time. Swampy Acres making videos. You gotta make videos. Nobody never know who you are if you make no videos. <clears throat> yeah, I'm trying to learn the, I'm trying to learn the new system too. I wanna learn how to do the cameras. I gotta learn how to upload it to a computer, then upload it, then um edit it, then upload it. I got a lot of work to do. I'm just going by trial and error. As I go along, I'm learning. Nobody told me it's going to be like this, but I just jumped in head first with no directions. And that's crazy because like my pops told me, two things don't come with directions, money and women. No directions. <coughs> yeah, I definitely got to give me some of that. I've been not going to lie. I've been drinking like green tea crazy. It's not working. It's not working. That green tea is definitely not working. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah, that Rubicon is crazy. That Rubicon is, see this thing is slow right here. All right. All right, you got me. Kia, yeah, when, when we was rolling, when we was all rolling like that, you already know. I've got my boy Nick Langori in the building. Hold on, i got to rewind this joint because the joint I was looking at is slow that I'm viewing on. All right. Yeah, here we go. Let me catch up. Let me catch up. Light blazer, low top, gum bottle. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, hold up. Here we go. Yeah, we got to go to Dapper Dance all day. All right. Yeah, that Rubicon is crazy. If I ain't cheap, I ain't buying it. Salute. How you doing, sis? You got that thousand, thousand subscribers. Let's salute her for that. I'm glad you there. You got your watch hours already. Let's get it. Let's get it. It's time to get it. If you really, you're going to feel. If you fake, you're going to hate. I represent them eight ball niggas trying to sell weight. Let's get it. If I ain't cheap. Yeah, I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to keep it 100. Yeah, just popped up with a live. I'm just, I'm just kicking it for a little while. You know, I was off today. I said I'm gonna, I'm gonna just chop it all the way up, and that's it. Yeah, the Forest Green Four. Yeah, the Honda Coupe, the, the Ford Honda Accord. I had a gold one. I was on my way to Philly one night, making a movie. The tranny went on me, pulled over on the highway, and left it. It's crazy. It needed nothing but a clutch. I just left the whole car there, but that was one of the best cars I ever had. Oh, you lost three. I lost 13 last night. That's crazy. I lost 13. I almost had a heart attack. I said, man, I'm grinding for nothing. So I am content. Pull my skirt up today. Pause. And said, listen, don't sweat none of that. Do your thing. And that's it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do that. And that's it. I'm not stressing nothing no more. I'm going to have fun. It's time to have fun. It's time to have fun. Hold up, dream, uh, uh, champagne, white body bins from my cuz, yeah. Them bins is nice, <clears throat> but I never buy another Mercedes again. You spend more money fixing them than the car, than you pay for the car. Mercedes is out the door. BMW, out the door. Lexus is good. I'll buy another Lexus, though. Oil love oregano for that cough. I'm going to go to the edge of the woods tomorrow, and I'm going to get that. Thank you. Yeah, I'm chilling. <coughs> I'm not worrying about nothing. I'm just going to have fun with it. But um, I got to get with you, I'm contact, because I'm contact. Cause I don't know about the giveaway. I don't know how to do the giveaways. I've been looking on YouTube how to do it, and I'm just confused by it. So I'm going to just hit you behind the scene, and you got to help me out with it or something, because I don't know how to do the giveaways. And they ain't them weirdo giveaways where we, we go into the Dollar Tree and we giving away $10 presents. No, we ain't doing that. We're not doing that. We got to make it right. We got a lot of people that support us the right way. And we got to show them the love that they deserve to be shown. We can't keep pump. Everybody pump faking. I'm tired of people hugging me and they're behind my back putting a knife in me at the same time. I'm tired of that. And I've only been up here for like a month and a half. And I'm seeing everything. It's crazy. I'm like, man, the real streets ain't right. The YouTube streets ain't right. It's all crazy. Yeah, I was like, man, I was on the verge of like, man, I'm not messing with this stuff, man. I'm just, I was ready to shut the channel down. The I am conscious, like, nope, boop, do this, boop, boop, boop. I felt better after the conversation. I felt much better. I felt much better. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this, that, and the third. Have fun with it. Because, you know, that's all you can really do. But, you know, go on some of these platforms, you got to be careful because these guys get super duper disrespectful. Like, when I get off here tonight, <clears throat> I'm going to T-History um, channel. I'm um I'm gonna be a guest on his show, but then I'm getting off because them dudes be wild up there. They be going after your grandmother, your mother, they going after your great aunt who was a daughter of a slave. Man, I'm not doing none of that. Them dudes be going crazy. I can't stomach that. Yeah, I can't stomach that. <clears throat> yeah.
Yeah, every, I lost um, I lost thirteen last night. I got six people today, just organically. They came, watched the content, said I'm with you, signed back up. So I'm not really sweating it. I'm not sweating it. Yeah, but they on they on to them sites where you roll up and get swollen up. I'm not going there no more. Uh uh, I can't do it. <laughs> I said it last time. I went back, got like forty people. I lost like thirty five of them. That's crazy. T history, you can get the numbers, man. You got a good channel. You come on too late. You got to come on at like eight, nine o'clock, and you will have it. If you come from six to like nine, you will have the game on smash. You come on too late. You, you, you like you said, you dealing with them. You dealing with them zombies. <clears throat> you got to come early, T. All the people that's gonna watch and rock and roll, the dudes that go to work in the morning, you come from like eight o'clock to ten, you'll be all set. You come out too late, man. Yeah, T, I'm telling you, you come out look, and I see you growing, T. Your numbers is going up. I see you move by about 60, 70 subs too, but you gotta come a little bit earlier and you'll have the game on smash. Let me see. That's what we want. We want people to join because they watch us. <clears throat> you're right. You're right. Why, why get monetized and you just monetize? That's like that's like having the jumbo shrimp. It's still the shrimp. Yeah. If I ain't she my buying, she got a good channel. I go through there and I vibe. I don't play the bingo, but I watch. It's a fun night. Like it's like going to the club without being at the club. Real talk. Pandy's here, Karen Moore. Salute. Thank you for coming through. We just chilling out. We just vibing and just talking, kicking it. What he say? <coughs> I didn't cough all day till I got up here. That's the crazy part. Coughed a little bit earlier, but chill. All right, bro, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, T, you gotta come a little earlier. You gotta come because you're killing it with the um this show is killing them, man. I'll be seeing I'll be watching some of your playbacks, your older joints. You got like six hundred people coming through. You come out a little bit earlier, T. I'm telling you, you're killing, man. And and a lot of dudes like Death of a Cloud Chaser and um Frank Lucas, they come on your show because they know you heating up. They know it. They see what you're about to do. And they trying to get down with you before you get there because they know you're going to be the dude they got to go run to. So definitely drop your time a little bit earlier, 8 to 10, and you'll kill them. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, overnight. But yeah, if you, if you could pick like one or two days a week and do that early thing, T, you're going to go crazy with it, man. I'm telling you. You got a dope channel. Everybody come through. When you had, what's my name, Clyde Diva on? Oh, man, you had the whole world looking. But it was like 3, 4 in the morning and people were still glued to your channel. I was like, yo, this is crazy. You had like 528 people. I stopped counting that watching you at like 4 in the morning. I was at work like, yo, this is crazy. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, but I think, you know, some of us got to switch our channels up, man, because it's getting repetitive, it's getting boring, and the only thing that really sells is controversy. <clears throat> I was telling everybody, I did a, um, the dude Hassan Campbell, I met him a couple times, right? You know, he a Muslim brother, but he go a little left with it sometimes. So I didn't come out of crazy like everybody else. The dudes be taking that nail, they be hanging them to that cross. You know, so I was like, yo, I'm not going to do him like that. So I talked to him like a friend. I was like, yo, you're doing this, that, and the third. Change it up. Because I, ca I caught some flaws of what he was doing. It was like super pump faking, and we're not going to get in that lane. So I told him what it was, and that's my best video. And it got to deal with semi-controversy, which I'm not with the controversy. And I'm like, man, I'm not going to grow like that because I can go that lane. I could, th I could throw daggers at him all day and get two, 3,000. Um, um, views and all that, but it's not going to be real. 
is dealing with hate. And I don't want to come from no place of hate. I'm just trying to come with the love for, for the brother and what he's doing. So I don't want to do it like that. But I had no problem doing it. And I could have did it like that, but I didn't want to. So I said, I'm going to fall back. I just told him how I felt. And he know who I am. I know who he is. And he know what it is. So we're going to keep it like that. <coughs> L, salute, baby. Do your thing. Sit back, man. You came through. Just popping up was enough love for me, man. That's all I required, man, just to be real. You know, we always been real from day one. We've been eight once from day one, you know. Ain't too, many, ain't too many people can say that. You know what we rep, you know what we about, you know what we stand for. So it is what it is. Enjoy your night. I holler at you on the next loop. Salute, big homie. And I don't call everybody big homie neither. You will rarely hear me say that word to somebody unless I really feel that in my heart. So we ain't calling anybody big homie. We ain't doing that. <clears throat> yeah, I know Def got his own, he got his own um show. But when you deal with other people's uh, content, you don't get paid for it. It's like you chasing somebody else's bag. Because he had a, uh, he had one video that did like almost 200,000 views. He only got like $280, something like that. So you can't go that route. You got to keep it like you doing it. You got you got genuine guests coming on. You're talking. You're dropping your thing. And it's going to grow crazy. Because I see you growing. Your numbers is growing every day. Every week, I'm saying to go up 10, 20. You're going to be at a 1,000 in a minute. I know your watch hours are already because your joint is stupid dumb. I know it is. Yeah. <clears throat> he big in numbers, but he's not big in statue because he's not doing what you're doing. You're doing original. He re-rocking it. I ain't talking bad about him, but he's re-rocking. And the way they was disrespecting him on that on, on, on a joint last week, it was crazy, man. <clears throat> he lost followers. If you look at his numbers before that show and after, he lost followers behind that because nobody respected him. I'm content. Have a good night. Thank you for stopping through. I appreciate you always. Have a good night. Sleep well. Enjoy your life. Yeah. <clears throat> but T, you got a great show. You got a great show. It's going to be big. You can tweak it a little bit. Sincerely yours, Nadia. Salute. Thanks for coming through, popping in. We just vibing, talking about how we can um well how can I um shake my channel up? I'm switching up a little bit. I want to do full reviews, sneak reviews, and I'm gonna introduce cars to my uh, channel. So I'm just gonna switch it up and have some fun now. The serious side is over. Now it's time to fun. It's time to help help people have fun too. The less fortunate, we going out in the streets where it's real at the battlefield. We're gonna lift some people up and try to get them back on course. You know, everybody that's homeless shouldn't be homeless. So those we can reach out and help and help build up, we got to do that because they shouldn't be there. So I feel it's my job and our job to 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 reach back and grab those and bring them forward with us. We can't leave everybody behind. But I appreciate you for coming through again. You know, you know it's getting late and people got things to do, lives and families. But I'm just trying to spread the word that <clears throat> let's not take YouTube too serious. Let's have fun with it. Let's stop worrying about the subscribers and the watch time hours. Let's just have fun. And it's going to do what it needs to do on its own. Like, I ain't cheap. I ain't buying it. She sat back. She had a watch hours a long time ago. She's just working on her subs. She got them. And, you know, I'm happy for her. I ain't no hater. You got people that get mad when you get the thousand. And because I got my thousand in 28 days. And people was looking at me like I was crazy. I'm like, you know, <coughs> I didn't have no. Um, thousands of sub, sub parties that everybody have. I'm not doing none of that because that's only a small victory in a large war. I'm not going to have no party for that or the watch time hours. I'm going to get the watch time hours very fast. Within three, four months, I'm going to have those. But I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, celebrate because it's more to it. We got to go out and help. It's not about having that or getting monetized. Because if you get monetized from YouTube, they give you peanuts. Unless you got two, three million subscribers and they're all watching your videos and watching your commercials and buying, you know, it's about your merchandise, your product. We you know what it is. The smart ones know what it is. The ones that's out there just chasing YouTube, ain't no money there. It's no money there at all. <clears throat> if I ain't cheap, 
you're doing the right thing. Sit back, relax, and do what you got to do and let it happen organically. Sincerely yours, Nadia, I got to get with you this week. I know I've been saying that. I've been super busy. I got to talk to you about some business. I'm still going to say about it. But I'll get with you tomorrow or Friday. I'm going to email you or whatever I got to do. And I need something done. And that's that. So thank you for your service, what you can do for me. That's what we got to do, though. <coughs> I feel like I got the corona, but I don't. Yeah, we just we just did a pit stop tonight. We just vibed and chopped it up. That's all we did. I had a, had a nice time. That's it. <coughs> but nobody talked to me about the cars. T history, what kind of cars you get, T? It's probably all the dudes that fell back. What we doing? We doing a Corvette C8. We doing a Hellcat. We doing a Toyota Supra. We doing a, uh, the Rubicon with the with the uh, Pan American roof. Or we gonna do that GT500. Let me know, T. Stop playing with your boy. Yeah, T, you got to ask Sincerely Nadia. She got a fabulous channel. She got a good product. You know, she's one of the top tiers. And we got to make sure she get bought the light also. We definitely got to do that. We got some good content creators. You know, we got we to gotta take the shade off and put the light on. We really have to. We got to hold each other down because it's not being done. There's <clears throat> a lot of hate on this YouTube thing. And our community, the conscious community, is supposed to be the ones who help each other. But we the ones that like to sneak dissing and in the background, we talking trash and it ain't real. <coughs> so I don't know what they're here to do, but I'm about fellowship, you know, brothers and sisters bringing us up, getting us to the next level. There's no reason why the conscious, the conscious community is supposed to be the richest because we got all the upstairs. Everybody else is weirdos, the nutcases, basket cases, you know, they're making stuff as they go along, but we dealing with the real, we dealing with consciousness. Yeah, <coughs> no doubt, <coughs> no doubt, bro. Yeah, good channel she got. You got to suffer. Yeah, got to. You did the right thing. You ain't do nothing wrong. Like I found you through somebody. I was like, whoa, this this channel was hitting. I was watching your joint. I was hitting. I was coming on your joint T. Hitting the like button, you know. I wasn't doing no comments. Then I said, you know, I got to talk on this joint. Hit the comments. We start vibing on that joint. Then you start shaking the bacon over that stove. You know, I'm a chef too, so you know, I had to just do do what we do, and we right here. You know, I'm coming to Bean Town. I'm definitely coming down there. We're gonna sit down, chop it up. We're gonna sit over some food and have, have the camera roll, and we're gonna bust it up the right way. Yeah. And another thing I talked about <clears throat> on a live couple of weeks ago, I want to do something that's called a content creators corner where we go to it on channel. We put our uh, people watch our content. They give the um, thumbs up button. They put a uh, comment and we get to watch ours. We watch like two or three videos from somebody and we just, that has to happen. The sub stuff. I don't want the sub stuff no more. I'm not hating on nobody what they are doing, but I don't want the sub stuff no more because I lost, um, in the past week, like 35, 40 uh, subs. I don't want to do that no more. Yeah, we definitely got to, each one teach, we got to build on each other. We definitely got to build. <coughs> Cut that out, T. Yeah, yeah, we got to do something different. It's, it's like it's like jazz. Like I tell everybody, like the conscious community is turning into jazz. Jazz is just that thing now. Nobody listen to jazz, buy jazz. They don't really download jazz. Jazz is like jazz is like rain on a windowsill. It's just there. And the conscious community is turning into that. So we can stop that by supporting each other the right way. We go to each other's channel. We watch three videos. Leave a comment. We put the thumbs up button and you get the watch time hours. Never mind the subs. That's going to come regardless if you got good stuff. If you don't, then you got to step the game up. But we got to do something to where we really support each other. And that's that. Like I was telling everybody a little bit earlier, you guys might have missed it. It's two channels. I want to produce two shows to where I'm doing four to six, um, four to six episodes of the series. 
I'm going to um, pay their moderators. I'm going to um, pay them for their time. And I'm going to pay for the props they need for this show. <clears throat> and I'm going to do that within the next um, two weeks. So it's going to be something nice. I want to introduce our people to a different culture, whether it's um, crocheting or backgammon or playing Uno. I'll just give you a, 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 a for instance of what I'm talking about because we need to do different things. I don't want to spill. That's why I use those things for the reference. I don't want to spill what I want to do, but we're gonna do some. I'm gonna do something real nice if they accept. If not, I gotta to move to the next person. But I think they will because I ran it by them lightly, and they said whatever I'm with, they're gonna do. Because we gotta change our narrative, and we gotta grow like it ain't no tomorrow, or we're gonna all fall. Because nobody's caring about the conscious community. We, like I said, we watch the stock people, we watch real estate, we watch the cars. We watch the artists, but nobody watch the conscience. We watch each other. And that gotta stop. That has to stop. So we're gonna build our own self up. And I'm just trying to start something, put a spark in the great fire that can happen. So I'm hoping people get aboard with it and we support each other and we can really grow. <coughs> uh Yeah, so I just want to do something big for the people, man, and so we can have something that we can really say that's ours. Right now, we're all over the place, and I'm tired. No disrespect to nobody. I don't speak Mandarin. I don't speak Cantonese, and I'm tired of hearing mega, 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 mega. I'm tired of hearing that, man. So I just want to build up this nation of conscious people the right way. I don't want to bicker. I don't want to argue. I don't want to air your dirty laundry out, you air mines out, because none of us is perfect. But I think we deserve the best shot because we're the most smartest people on this planet, the conscience. We deal with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You have those who study in universities. We deal with the universe. Who's smarter? Yeah, we are, but we're not getting treated like that. They look at us like the backpack rappers with the butterflies and flowers in our hair and the picks, nah, we're smarter than that. And it's time for us to excel and get further and farther to get to where we need to be at. And we have to do it. And it's not gonna happen by yourself. You have to have someone to push you, to walk with you, to walk in front of you or beside you. So we gotta do it together. <coughs> Self-love always, I know it's a lot of good. Yeah, you're right, we have to. We are gonna do it, you know. And, it's, and, and, the, and the, the name of it's going to be the Content Creator Corner, where you can come at and get your stuff viewed, and people can appreciate the artwork that you put into your channel. Because it's just not content. The stuff is artwork. What sincerely yours? Not you do. That's art. That's like what Picasso did, what Banksy did. That's straight artwork. That stuff should be going for starting off fifty, sixty thousand dollars a piece. And we got to get we got to get her to that level because that stuff is poetry and motion, and nobody really understand that because they think it's just YouTube, the subs, and watch time hours. Go ahead with that, man. I'm done with that. <clears throat> I'm trying to get to another place and make sure my people get to another place too because we deserve to be there. I am content. She belong on TV. Yeah. TV. Derek C. Williams, <clears throat> he's one of the sharpest knives in the drawer. He belong on TV. That's everybody. Steve Harvey got Derek C. job. Oprah got I'm Compton job. Real talk. You got to step it up. We get them where they need to go at. They pull back for two of us, three of us. Once we get there, they're going to pull back. <clears throat> Hey, Q, what's up, homie? You in the building. Glad you came through, man. I just dropped a quick live to tell the people that I'm um, switching my channel up a little bit. I talk a little conscious, a little finance stuff. But, I, you know, my thing is the sneakers. Before you came in, I bought about 10 pair of crazy sneaks out. Not really the Jordans and the Jumpmans and the uh, Travis Scotts and the phone posits. I deal with, like, New Balance. Some retro joints, but if you go back and watch this joint, 
you'll see the joints I broke out. But um, I'm doing the sneaker review. I'm doing full reviews, and I'm and I'm I'm gonna sneak the cars on my pl- on my channel because you know when you buy the car for seventy eighty thousand, it's a little iffy for the people to be watching. You know, so I'm definitely gonna bring the cars into my channel. But I'm glad you came out. Salute, you know. AQ, he got a dope channel. The reactions is out of his world. I leave a comment, but it can't really express how I feel about his channel. He doing his thing. He deserves to be one of the big YouTubers because he got straight fire. And he just, you know, keep doing his thing. It's going to happen. So everybody, I'm telling you, go check out the brother. AQ, A-Y-E, Q, like juice. AQ, when they call him from the... When they call from outside to the building, that's my man, man. So make sure you check his channel out. It's super duper dope, and I'm with it. You know, I'm with it all the way. You already know, AQ. But, yeah, we got to switch the narrative up with our community. We just got to push each other ahead. And if one make it, we know you can't bring 30 with you. You bring one or two. And then that two might bring one or two. It's going to trickle down to the real. And we all going to be up there sooner or later. Just keep putting dope content out. Try your best and be real. And don't be nobody you're not because it's going to show. Nothing worse than somebody being fraudulent. You know, we're not dealing with no frauds, no fakes, no pump faking. We ain't doing none of that, you know. So we just want to keep everything pure in the hundred. You got to keep it like that. I don't know, Q. I'm, I'm going to stream some probably on Friday. I just popped up out the, view, out the blue because I was just chilling at the crib. And I said, let me just pop up and talk to a couple people real fast and just vibe a little bit and just get the channel, you know, just let people know what I'm doing with the channel because I did the finances a little bit. I did the conscious joint, trying to, let people, trying to make them aware, trying to wake them up a little bit. I'm only one person, you know, but now it's time for me. My whole life I've been serious. Now it's time for me to have fun. I'm doing a full work. I'm clowning. I'm joking with the food reviews. I'm going to places where I hear the food ain't good. I'm letting them know. I heard this food ain't right. Get it right. I'm going to good restaurants. I'm doing pizzas. I'm doing lobsters. I'm doing seafood. I'm doing burgers. I'm doing the buffalo wings. And I'm bringing cars to the channel. So, like I asked, <clears throat> what car you guys like out there? I want to try the Corvette, the Hellcat, the, the Toyota Supra, the GT500 the um, Wrangler Rubicon. I want to know what you think I should start the channel off with. So if you got any um, if you got any suggestions, let me know so I can get it popping. That's what we're doing. Yeah, if I ain't keep, I ain't buying it. We got to come together, hold each other down. <clears throat> I watch everybody. It's crazy. I take an hour and a half to two hours every day and start off. When I wake up, I go back to the morning and whoever posts from the next 10 hours, I go watch three to four minutes of their content every single day. <clears throat> That's it. You know, I'm just real. Like, I, I, I treat this YouTube like it's the block. You got to be real. You can't pump fake. You can't be a phony. You can't do no side deals. You got to bend the corners right. You got to make sure you're seeing what's around the corners because you got to keep it real. You know, I watch, I'll be watching videos of Cantonese, Mandarin. I'll be watching stuff in other languages, Portuguese and Italian. I just sit there and listen to it, hoping I can catch a word or two, hit the like button, tell them what I feel in my language from what I see scenery-wise, and I keep it pushing. But I don't keep it fake, though. If somebody subscribed to me and they post something, I'm watching it. Every day, I do like two hours. <clears throat> when the corona over, I don't know if I can do that. It might be every other day. But now, I'm in the crib. I'm not going to restaurants. I'm not going to nightclubs because if something happened to me, my family's in trouble. The head going, the body going to fall. So I'm staying put in the house a couple places, and I'm back at the ranch. <clears throat> nah, no, no. And you know what? Um, if it ain't cheap, a lot of people know that those uh, self-for-sub joints, they know you're going to lose. They still invite you up there. I lost so many. I lost on um, the past four days, I lost 35 people. I got um 1110. I should have 1700 within two months. They keep hitting me, taking 
15 a day, 10 a day, because I'd be on the computer like 15, 16 hours a day, every day, grinding hard, but they clipping me. Yeah, T History AQ. That's he's a real one. T. I rocks with um AQ hard body. He official like a ref with a whistle. You heard? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm tired of losing, so I'm gonna let mine grow organically. If anybody got anything going on, I'm gonna come support. But I'm not doing no. I'm just coming for the support. I get you to watch hours, but I'm not doing nothing with me watching your video. You watch mine. I'm not doing that no more. I said that like two weeks ago. I went back, did it, got 70. I lost 65 of them. I lost 65 of them. So it ain't worth for me to do it. My time is worth more than just five subscribers. And I could call five family members, sign up, and they'll do it. But I don't even do that. So what makes you think I'm going to go ahead and Put hours into it just for five subscribers. Now, Q, you got to check it out, man. I got some joints, man. I was just vibing, and I said, yo, you know what? Let me break a couple of joints out. I got the Cognac New Balance. I got the um, the Silver D. I got two pairs of Silver D. I got like, man, I got like 70 pairs of sneakers. I didn't even put my foot in yet. I got like 50 to 70 pairs. I didn't even put my foot yet. Never mind the ones I wore already, so. I'm going to break the sneaks out here and there. I'm going to do the full reviews and I'm going to talk to the, do a live. I'm going to do like three. I'm going to try to drop three things a week and just keep it moving, man. But my overall thing I want to do, I want to help the less fortunate. And hope when I do it, people see it and they help the less fortunate in their places. You know, you know, like um, this week coming up, I'm going to go to McDonald's. I'm going to buy like 100 hamburgers, 100 cheeseburgers because everybody don't eat the uh, dairy. I don't want to pass it out because where I'm at, it's a lot of people that's doing bad. You got food pantries that's giving out pancake batter. A homeless person can't do no pancake batter. They can't cook it. So I want to do my part and help. <coughs> yeah, hold up. Real G TV, what's up, homie? Glad you stopped through, baby. You know, we just vibing, talking about sneakers. We talking about our channels and ways to grow and get further and farther. That's all we doing, family. How you doing, Real Jeans? What's going on in your life, man? Let us know how you doing. Everything good with you? It's a lot of drama on these YouTube streets, man. I'm a little upset by the by the homies in New York talking about CK also bossly and our stats 280. How they going crazy? Them dudes could have millions. But they settle one for hundreds on YouTube because they won't come together. They won't stop being stupid. And they won't get that bag. I'm starting to question if any of them ever had any money. Because dudes like that are supposed to argue. You get money and keep it moving. They story deserve to be on the big screen. They arguing over a couple hundred dollars of YouTube money. If it's that serious, tell them to hit my line up. I'll give them a couple hundred dollars a piece. Stop arguing. It ain't that serious, man. I'm tight with them right now. Yeah, man, the sneak game. I got a little. I don't, like I told everybody, I don't rock with the um, I don't rock with um the Jordan phone posits. My wife do. I go with the fifty pair phone posits from her and all the J's from her, but I don't rock with them. I, I like I'm, I'm a hood dude, so I gotta stand on my feet for. I stood on my feet for hours, so I gotta make sure the feet holding the body up all day. So the New Balance was good for me. The Air Max Nineties was super good, so that's what I rock with. You know. Made sure my feet was sturdy. Yeah. <clears throat> I lost a lot of subs, man. They've been raping me. <clears throat> yeah, Q, in a minute. What time is it right now? And I'm going to bring people to the watch game, too. I got a bunch of watches. This is the Hublot right here. I got a bunch of rollies. I got a bunch of rock. I'm bringing my watches to my channel too. Not to be braggadocious, but I put a lot of work in to get what I got. So I got about 15 watches. That's like 10 bands or better. I'm going to bring to the channel, show the people what it is. 
you know, if you work hard, you can get these things. And not being back braggadocious, but I worked hard, man. I worked hard. I worked hard. I'm from 1990. I put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in on this thing, man. So I just want to have fun with this right now. You better believe it. I if I ain't cheap, old school sneaks is the best. Then Air Max 90s. Man, I had one pair I rocked for three years straight. Not every day, but off and on. If I didn't make two million dollars in them sneakers, I ain't make a penny. Real talk. If I ain't make two million in them joints, I ain't make a penny. Never mind the bucket I was driving. Oh, that's unforgettable. Unforgettable. Yeah, AQ, yeah, I lost some subs this week. I love saws all month. Like, I got 1,100, I got 1,100 and, like, 15, something like that. But I should have, like, 17. They took, like, 600 in, like, two months from me. Every day I was losing, like, 20, 25, because I was on the computer, like, 16 hours a day. No less than 15 hours. I was up there grinding, grinding, grinding. Because um, uh, Victoria Sliche, she gave me a five-minute crash course on YouTube when I first got up here. Cause I was up here just vibing, didn't know what was going on. My cousin is on um, the world is mine. He hooked me up with Shay. Shay told me what I need to do in about three to five minutes. I stuck to the script. I was just running, 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 running. And everything she said was the truth. But I don't know what it is with them sites you go on. I lost like 600 subscribers in less than two months. So I'm done with going to them sites, getting subs, cause they leaving. Last night I got 13 subscribers. They all left today. I woke up, it was all gone. I was like, damn. <coughs> Brandon, what up, baby? We got the Hamden Mongrel out there. He's up late. He ain't playing no games. We got Brandon Lagori in the building. Get it popping. You know, don't leave your girl around Brandon. He real sneaky. He's a sneaky player. Yeah. He is still the breath out your mouth when you're breathing, so be careful with Brandon. Yeah. That's my man's son, but he's good people, so I'm just clowning with him. Good guy, though. Brandon, that's the man right there. We call him B. Jizzle for short. You already know. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I, um, if I ain't cheap, I ain't buying it. I got, um, all together, I had it calculated. I had like 1,700 and change subscribers in about less than two months, but they got them all back from me. I don't know how or why, but they got them back. So I'm not doing that, um, I'm not going to them channels no more. If it grow, it grow. If it don't, it don't. Because I'm here. I'm not here for the people to grow on me. I'm here just to help, have fun, good time, and just, you know, have fun with each other. That's it. Miss Full Roller, salute. Glad you came in here. We just chilling. We just vibe and talk about the channels and how many subs we lost and ways to better our channel and our community because, like I said, the conscious community is the smartest community in the world. But we're not getting no credit for it. We're not getting no credit for it. <clears throat> no one's respecting us. We got to demand respect. No one's respecting us. We deal with every other channel in this world and content. Or like I said, we deal with the we deal with the stocks, the real estate, we deal with the car community. We deal with the artists. We deal with the scientists. We deal with everybody, but nobody checks for us. We're checking on each other. Without each other, we're dead. So it's time for us to demand respect from them, or we shutting them down. We have to. And we're the realists. Like I said, they deal with universities. We deal with the universe. Who's smarter? I'd rather study the universe all day than be at a university. University only makes you a smarter employee anyway. And I'm tired of working. Real talk. AQ, hey, peep this. I don't want to sound like I'm, I'm playing the, the race card or nothing like that. I start losing subs, right? So I start going to all the Asian people. All the Asian people I sub to, they all didn't have me down as being inside their, in their lineup. I was like, wow, that was crazy. They sub me, I sub them. I check up on all the subs, they erased it. Like, I checked 10 of them, seven of them didn't have me no more. The other two, the other three was private, so I couldn't really tell. 
But seven didn't have me on their lineup. I was like, damn, they doing it like that? But I was warned on how the other geographical people get down. Like they got their thing to do the self and self stuff, whatever you call it, linking up. You can't even understand because it's in Cantonese and Mandarin and you can't understand that language. So they tell me off the rip, don't come here. But me, I'm straight, I'm sticking with the script. I gotta stick with my people and those like me, you know, the Spanish, the less fortunate white and the blacks. I can't really, and some of the Africans are super duper cool. The ones that know what time it is, that keep it a hundred. But a lot of them, they sub you, and they clip you. And I don't see the meaning of that because once you get monetized, you're going to need everybody to watch your content. Everybody. Whether it's just a minute at a time or an hour, you're going to need everybody. And people don't get that part about YouTube. They think, I got too many people I'm subbing to. But it shouldn't be like that. <coughs> it shouldn't be like that at all. Like I told everybody when I first did my live, I had a 1,000 subscribers. But I subscribed to like 7,000 channels, 6,500 to 7,000 channels, because I know when they get real, I'm going to need an army behind me. And that's going to be the army. So I don't know what's the big thing about clipping your subs. That makes no sense. That makes no sense, man. Yeah, if I'm not cheap, Q, she's a good person to vibe with, man. When uh, the dude from Black Panther died, Chadwick, when he died, I was on one of the joints like two in the morning at work listening to her. She said, I went out with the Black Panther dolls and I bought the accessories. I'm like, yo, I didn't think of that. Next day, I went and bought some lunch boxes and got me some accessories for the kids to have or do giveaways or whatever. But she definitely got a lot of game with her and she got the knowledge and that wisdom she can give us, man. Real talk. Yeah, I, yeah. If I ain't cheap, AQ is a good dude, man. He's a good dude, genuine dude. He got good content. You you don't need cable with his channel. You're gonna be you got the love connection. You got cops. You got you got everything, man. You got the soap boxers, green leaf. You get everything with his channel. If you want to laugh, you can watch it. If you want to cry, if you want to feel sorry for somebody, if you want to whatever you want to do, his channel got it. Real talk. I ain't bigging them up because I rock with them. It's just that his channel was built like that, like yours. Good channel. <coughs> yeah, um, Miss Four Roller, I was telling people I'm going to create a channel. I'm going to produce a channel. I'm not going to create it. I'm going to produce a channel where I, I hire someone to create an um, site for like two hours a week where you can go there. Have people watch your content. You get the watch time hours. You get the view. You get the comment. And you get the thumbs up. So people will come watch a long video of yours or they'll watch two or three short videos of yours and we can grow organically the right way. I'm not talking about subs. We're not doing no subs over here. It's just about getting the watch time hours, the views, the likes, and the thumbs up. You know, the part that really count. The subscribers, they're going to come later. But we need the love right now. So I got two um people I got in mind. I'm gonna produce two shows for them. It's gonna be um two series with four to six episodes per series. And I'm in the works with that right now. So I have to reach out to them and finalize it and get it going. And everyone on this channel, the moderator is gonna get paid, they'll get paid for their hours, the props are gonna get paid for. It's gonna be like a full production. It's gonna be something that we can have that we can build off of because. The conscious community is all over the place, but we don't stand for nothing right now. So I really want to build the right way and make sure it's built on concrete and not sand. Because if you build on sand, it's going to sink. I want it to be sturdy, and I want it to be about something, and I think that'll work. I'm not doing it. i just be behind the scenes, I'll executive produce it, i put the funds up, and make it happen. And, you know, let it be for us, this community. Because we got a great community. We just not getting no recognition from nobody. You never see a stock dude comment on your stuff or uh, the real estate dudes comment on your stuff or the art people comment on your stuff. Nobody or the car people watch our stuff. Nobody watch us but us. And we got to change that narrative. We're special. We're strong. We're intelligent. And we're above average. And we got to be treated like that. So if you would it, we're going to support it. And it's not, it's not going to cost you nothing. It's just going to help you. And you won't lose no subscribers over that. It's about building and getting strong.
<coughs> real mama, real problem. Salute. Glad you stepped in for a little while. I know you had to grind at night. I grinded last night. Tonight I'm off. I just popped up and did a little live. I wanted to build with the people and just express the way I'm changing my channel up. And, you know, things I got to tweak on minds because I did the consciousness a little bit, finances. Now I want to have some fun with it. I want to do the food reviews, sneaker reviews, car reviews, and stuff like that. I'm going to have fun. <coughs> it's enough It's enough of um, being too serious, chasing subs and watch time hours. Those days got to stop. Like I said, we was here last time I talked about the content creators uh, corner where we got to show genuine love for us. So I'm going to reach out to the two. I want to have do two different um, – I want to executive produce two um, um, series with two different creators, and I want it to be about us, where we can learn something new, we can grow, and it can be about something where we can feel good about what we do, because I know a lot of us feel like shutting our channel down sometimes. I know like three, four times, I'm like, you know what? I ain't got to do this, man. This is this is not, I don't want to say retarded because I don't want to offend anyone, but this is not where it's at right now. But I almost I almost let it go, though. So I just want to do something where we can build and be strong and feel good about it because, like I like I tell everybody, real mom, real problems, the stuff she be spitting is cinematic. It should be on the big screen. But we don't have nobody in our community to bring us there. But the car guys can walk somebody into Lamborghini, into Rolls Royce, into the Bentley dealer. We can't walk nowhere. We can't even walk to the pyramids in Egypt, and we're the most conscious people in the world. So we got to fix that. We can't travel through the deserts and, and climb up mountains. We can't do that to go meditate. We can't do that. We stuck on YouTube with no outlets, and it's time for that narrative to change. I don't know if I'm tripping, but within my heart, I know it's right what I'm saying. So I think we need to put our best foot forward and change that narrative on who we are and what we're about. Because if not, we're going to be like jazz and just be like raindrops on a windowsill. Nothing. Yeah, I only been on YouTube for um a month and a half. A month and a half. And I see you already it's full of games, but I'm from the streets, so I can't pull nothing over my eyes and I can go around that BS. I'm gonna get mine regardless. You can put me on the moon, I'm gonna make something of it. You put me on Venus, I'm gonna thrive, I'm gonna I'm gonna excel, I'm gonna succeed. So you can't pull nothing over my eyes. I'm just gonna win. Anthony Harris is my brother. Salute, big bro. We just kicking it, man. You came in a little late, but <clears throat> I was dropping some sneaks on them. I got some throwbacks. I'm glad you didn't see them because you'll be like, yo, send me them joints. I put about 10, 15 pairs of sneaks out, very new joints in the box. And I was telling everybody I'm going to change my narrative up on my channel, talk about some sneaks, full reviews, and some cars, and just move around like that. But that's my bro, Anthony Harris. Salute again, man. We just having fun out here. Yeah, we built the pyramid, so we got to... We can, you definitely got to get. We definitely got some recognition for them, and we just sitting around like nothing right now. We're the smartest people on YouTube. <clears throat> Marlene reviews. Salute. Thank you for stopping through. We just having fun on YouTube. <clears throat> I probably got about ten more minutes because I got a feature on um, T History Channel at um twelve when the game over. I'm gonna be on his channel getting it in, but. Yeah, a lot of facts and fake phony MF is on YouTube things. Ben P. Yeah, we gotta we gonna get past that. I got some strong people in pocket right now, and they're gonna follow it to the A to Z, and we're gonna we're gonna change our narrative, and we're gonna grow quicker. Believe me, I'm not talking about sub wise. I'm talking about the love with the watch time hours, the reviews, the thumbs ups, and the comments that matter most. After you get that on point, the subs gonna come. I lost 13 subs last night, and I didn't go down the crazy channels, and I got like 10 back today, so I wasn't really mad. I'm doing good, Marlene. I'm doing real good, chilling, vibing, trying to figure some things out, trying to tweak my channel, you know, trying to tweak our community because we're lacking. We got to get it. We got to get ahead. We got to get further and farther. You know, we're being cheated. The constant community is being cheated. You know, like I said, all these other communities is winning. Look at the car guys, million subscribers. Look at the real estate guys, million subscribers. Look at the stock guys, million subscribers. The artists, million subscribers. Look at us. 
we are cut like a band aid, and it's time for us to excel. <clears throat> so we're gonna um pick some people. We got Sam behind them, and they're gonna get to where they're gonna go, and they're gonna pull us up one by one. So it's gonna be a process, but it's gonna be faster than what's going on right now. You just gotta believe in it. You know, you gotta believe in it. There's a lot of wool being pulled over your eyes. Come to our site. It's real. It's cool. Da da da. But they're getting watch time hours, and we're getting nothing. We ain't getting nothing. Now. I'm gonna be honest. <clears throat> I said, I said like last week, I'm not going to no more. I went, man. I went and got 35 and lost 30 of them. Man, that's wasting my time. I could have caught five family members up and said subscribe to this channel, or bought them ten dollar phones from Walmart, got them activated, and same thing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we gotta go right with it. We gotta, we gotta do more. I, I be seeing people that be on, that been on YouTube since 2002 with like 300 subscribers, and they saying, "Man, I can't get watch hours," and they got good content, very decent content, but there's no one to push them further to get farther. So we have to do it for each other, and there's no better people to do it than us. We're gonna do it ourselves. I got two great people in mind, and um, I'm gonna get with them this week. And a week after this one, it should be in effect. And you're going to watch everything about your channel go up. Your watch time hours, your comments, your thumbs up. And you're going to get the views. There's, there's no reason why. <clears throat> if you drop a video two days later, it's supposed to have two to 300 views. Every video. That's a real video. Because you put time, effort, you put your mind, your body, your soul into these videos. And you're not getting you're not getting the respect and love for it. So what I'm telling you is, what I'm about to do, you're gonna get all of that. There's no reason why each video should have 300 views to where they watch the whole video, not click on 10 seconds, leave a quick comment, and ball out. No, I don't hate that. I watch the whole thing when I watch it. I, I play I play review I play playbacks with people. They don't even know I do it. I just I and I got like I got a gang of devices. When I tell you a gang of devices, my dream is like an IBM office. I've got devices everywhere. And if I say a person got a live going on and they got 20, if they got 20 people watching it, you better believe 12 of them coming from me because I hold it down the right way. <clears throat> yeah, I lost I lost some two real mamas, but we got we gotta really sit down and I know I'm, I'm sounding like a broken record for like two weeks, but I'm trying to put this thing together the right way. And I don't want to seem like a buffoon coming out, starting something to stop. But I want to make sure the two people I have is serious about it. And I really want them to be on board. And I really want them to be like, let's do this. And I get the okay. And we're going to make it happen because it's a shame. Like, real mom, real problems. You got great stuff in the world. Need to hear that. You're supposed to be somebody that got like two, three hundred thousand subscribers. And you're supposed to be laying back, working on your craft and your art and working on plays and short movies and documentaries. You got what it takes, but our community is not pushing you. It's not that we're not pushing you. You get, I'm going to be honest. A lot of the people in this community are hating. They know you got what they don't got because you got youth on them and some of them older and they don't want to be like, let the young girl have her time. We had ours. They're not going to do that. I'm gonna call it spade a spade, regardless who don't like it, because I don't need YouTube. I'm doing this for like hot. This is a corona hobby for me. But I just, I'm just, a, I'm, a, I'm a street hustler. So anything I hustle on, it's gonna work, whether you hate on me or not. You can have a million people come through, drop dislikes on my videos. I'm gonna work around that, and they still gonna feel what I'm saying because I keep it real. I'm genuine and I'm authentic with it. I'm not gonna pump fake. This is your third channel. That's good. I don't know if it's your third channel that you did because you're doing good or your third channel because you're giving it a try. And if it's because you're giving it a try, don't worry about it because the, the program we about to kick in, it's going to stop all that buffoonery and it's going to be real. <coughs> your content is the same stuff that Tyler Perry is doing, Real Mamas. It might, yours might be better because the stuff you spit, I ain't heard before. Tyler Perry doing the same movie over and over and over. 
when you spit in your stuff, all of it's different. What you're saying is for everybody, but everybody ain't sharing it out. They ain't put it on Instagram. They ain't put it on Facebook. See, I'm new to all. I'm, I'm new to social media. I've been on YouTube for a month and a half. I've been on Instagram for a week, and I haven't even put a picture up yet. And I'm a street dude, and you know, street dudes is camera shy. We don't play with that. But you know, I'm trying to transition. But what I'm saying is, everybody in this community is supposed to be blowing your stuff up to where the higher echelon hearing your stuff, and they pulling you up, and they putting you on bright lights. We can pull one of us up later on down the line. But they don't want you to go before them. And the, the, and the real thing about it, they're not never, they're not going nowhere. And you can tell them I said it, they're not going nowhere. They are comfortable with what they're doing, and you two give them three, four hundred dollars a month, and they're happy with that. That's coffee money. That's coffee money right there. <clears throat> yeah, the real moms, we're gonna learn together. We're gonna learn this thing together. I'm gonna help you, you help me. You find a trick to the trade, let me know. I'm gonna let you know. And we're going to build, and trust me, we're going to get strong, and we got to start working on putting what you do into small 15 to 20-minute short movies. You know, we get some work for higher actors. We get the equipment to shoot it on. We shoot it in like a day or two to where it don't, it's cost-effective, and we put it on YouTube. It's like a mini-web series, but it's a mini-movie. It's a dude called K. Walker out of Philly. He got about 30 of them up there, and you know. You gotta start putting you gotta start putting these things you do into cinematic features and you gotta really put your content out there like that. What you're doing now is great and good, but it needs to be visualized so people can see what you're saying. We can imagine it, but we need to see it. <clears throat> and if it costs money, we got a couple real dudes on the scene that can link together and make it happen. Trust me, because they need to happen. You got the cinematic stuff, and you know, we gotta make these things happen. Yeah. My wife walked in, told me to stop, but I'm keeping it real, man. I'm not holding, I'm, I don't bite my tongue. I keep it a buck. I keep it one zero zero. And I promise to do that in the beginning to keep it a hundred. But real mamas, I don't know if my wife's seen your content. You got some good poems. You got good stories. Everything is authentic and it's real. And we got to make sure you get there. We got to make sure. <coughs> You're right. I feel like bring my camera out there. I broke, shoot something on the bridge, but nobody got mask on. I might do that tomorrow. Go out there and get a little footage, show the people where I come from, how crazy them, crazy them dudes are, and just never return again. You're right. <coughs> but real models, you're right, but got to listen up. But you got what it take. You got it. I am content. Got it. Derek C. Williams, you guys got it. It's time to go. And I'm just learning. I'm just learning, but we're going to make it, though. If I ain't cheap, I ain't buying it. She got it. Nadia got it. Victoria Lee Shea, she needs to be where Gail King is at. Yeah, we got some good people in the building. AQ, good money. T History. Oh, man. I watch stuff all the time. And, you know, the people I don't watch, I'm going to I'm gonna start watching your stuff to get to understand it. And we're going to grow. Yeah, we're going to make it happen. <coughs> yeah, so we just got to work together, man. Let me see where we at. Boom. Samuel Steady Rock. Oh, man, Samuel, he's a dope one. He got some dope music, man. And I don't know why we ain't pushing behind him. Everybody in our community is supposed to push behind him, watch the videos, like. We're supposed to um, thumbs it up, put a crazy comment. This is what I'm talking about. We got very talented people that we have in our community, and we're not being behind them because we're not so-called chasing them circles. Ain't no circles. For conscience, we study the universe. Our knowledge is infinite. So you can't contain us on just following a mere mortal, a man or woman. We're not doing that. So we want to build something to where we're going to just rock and roll and put the people who deserve to be up there, we're going to put them up there. Your time will come. <coughs> Real Mamas, Real Pop, you want to do books? I'm going to holler at you behind the scene, Real Mamas, because this is it's a, it's, it's a um, program 
by Amazon called Kindle Direct Publishing. You can write a book. You can publish it through them. You can put your price set point. They got a great product and program, and it's so easy to do. I got a book now I wrote months ago. I didn't do nothing with it because I told everybody when I came on that knowledge is free, and I'm never going to charge for nothing. So I think I'm going to put the book out, and I'm going to give out like 500 to 1,000 copies and let it run. But the stuff, your poems and your stories, that's not even the dream. It's something that's very attainable, and it costs nothing to do. But I'm going to talk with you behind the scenes, real mamas, and you got to make that happen because you got it. Books is nothing. You got the audio, online books, and the hardcover, soft cover. Man, you got enough people in our community, we're going to buy it. I know I'm going to buy it. And I hope everyone who say they love and support your stuff don't buy it also. If not, they're showing their true colors. <coughs> Sammy, I was talking something a little while ago about something I want to create called the Content Creators Corner. So when you come in, um, we, watch your, we watch your own videos, we comment on them, we leave a thumbs up, and you get the watch time hours and the views. Two or three videos, every time you come, that'll happen to something different. Because we got to start showing different type of love. It's not about the subs. We need the other stuff that come along with it. We need the good content, the good uh, comments. We need the thumbs up. We need the, uh, the views. And we need the, um, we need everything, you know, stuff that don't come with just the subs. Because I got, I got 1,100 subs and maybe 150 watch my content. So, you know, if it wasn't about the YouTube thing, I'd get rid of them. Real talk, I would get rid of them, but that's a requirement. But once they lock me in, when my watch hours come, I'm getting rid of everybody who don't watch my stuff. I'm getting rid of them. You're dead weight, and you're going in the seat with cement boots on. You got two books, uh, Marlene. If you got, publish them yourself. The best thing you can do is go to Kindle Direct Publishing on Amazon and do them yourself. Don't let no company come rob you for your money. They are rob you. I'm telling you, do not go to a publishing company. Go to Kindle Direct Publishing. It costs almost next to nothing, and you can get it done. I'm telling you. They, Kindle Direct Publishing through Amazon has a great program. They're running over there. And it's for people just like us. I got a book I'm doing, but I'm going to have to end up selling my book for 99 cents. That's the cheapest you can sell a book for. Because I told the people I'm not going to charge for knowledge. And the book I got, I wrote, I wrote it like two, three months ago, months ago. It's a short one. It's about 100 pages. I'm going to give away like the first 500 copies. Then the rest I sell for 99 cents because Amazon won't let you give nothing away free on their site. But it's a great project. Big bro, salute. Thanks for stopping through. Grinding with me and the people, man. I'm going to hit you up a little later on. I know you out there doing your thing. Have a good night. Be safe and safe journeys, bro. I'm holler at you. Yeah, do your own thing. Publish your own books. Be your own boss. These publishers try to change what you said. They want to change the, the settings where everything you do, they want to change it. And we can't allow that to keep happening. We can't allow that. <coughs> yeah, you gotta, yeah, um, Samuel Steady Rock, you gotta do a what's called man, EP. You gotta do four songs, put it to a hard copy. We tell the people, support me, I'm selling for five dollars. You sell that all crazy, that'll pay for your project. I've did it before. I, I dealt with the music business in the 90s, 93, 94, 95. I spent so much money, it's, it's unbelievable. I, Me personally, I will never touch the music business again. Too much blood, sweat, tears, and money. I'll never do it again. It'll bleed you dry, but you have the talent so you can reap the benefits. But me personally, I, I, I can talk to you behind the scenes on stuff about the music business. They'll be a little bit further and farther, but me personally, I can't deal with it, man. It's too much that go along with it. Like, I can start a label. I got you and three other people under my label. A big label come in. I'll end up your manager after I spent two, three hundred thousand in you. I end up your manager getting 15%. I'll never recoup my money. And two years from that, a year from that, 
you'll get a new manager and I'll be out in the wind looking crazy. It happened before. I done dealt with I done dealt with a lot of labels. I've had people jack my music and all type of stuff. There's, it's the music business is cutthroat. The only way it's not cutthroat if you stay independent. And I highly tell you, stay independent. Don't sign to nobody. Don't sign nothing. YouTube is the biggest market and promotion and company in the world. You don't need nobody but to have the community behind you and you will win all day, every day. Believe me when I tell you that. Yeah, Ro Moms, I accepted you back on IG. I ain't got no pictures up there, but I'm, I'm going to get it popping soon. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you got, I'll keep going with the book. Don't stop. Keep writing the ideas and make sure you got a nice, catchy title to it. Your cover is catchy. And just make sure you um you market to the right crowd and you just got to come to the crowd and show them what you have, show them your product. And you just got to pitch it to them the right way and we'll buy it. Don't let your book end up in Walmart, Barnes & Noble because they give you pennies on a dollar. They give you three, four cents on a dollar for having your product in your store. But if I buy your book for 10 bucks, book for 10 bucks, and you pay a dollar sixty to make it, you make the other money to your pocket. You can't beat that. Be your own boss. You got to. <clears throat> like I tell everybody, in the in the uh, entertainment business, it's ninety five percent business, five percent talent. Remember that when you walk in them doors and somebody tell you, "I got two hundred thousand for you," turn it down because you know it's worth a million. Don't sell yourself short. Never sell yourself short. Don't settle for short money. It's a lot of short money out there, and people are going to try to buy your ideas. They're going to buy your identity. They're going to buy your work and all that, and your worth for pennies. And they like like Friday. Ice Cube, Friday only costs like a million and a half or two million to make. Ice Cube said he wants to put his own money. The Jews tricked him out of putting his own money up, said, we'll pay for it because it might tank. That's the biggest urban move ever. And Ice Cube lost out on hundreds of millions from on demand copy sold, movie theater sales, and just rights to the next movies. He lost out on hundreds of millions because he was tricked on selling himself for short money. He took the 800000 and got jerked. Those days are over if, you, if you're intelligent. <clears throat> yeah, it, it, it went far as high as real mamas because there's nobody real inside this circle. It's a couple real ones, and they don't have the the vehicles to get further. But now, I'm not saying I have all the ideas, but I know what I'm doing because the things I did, it worked for me for a lot of years. And I'm gonna help those who I see have that real raw talent and we can get somewhere. But we gotta be real with each other. The books, the mini movies, we got we can do everything. The soundtracks to the books, the soundtracks to the movies, it's a lot out there, but it has to be independent. So if you have your mind on getting a deal or being published by someone, don't waste my time or don't waste your time. Go get robbed. It's going to happen. The Jews are going to buy your soul for cheap. Do it yourself. Please do it. Don't sign nothing with nobody. Sign it yourself. And remember, when you put something on YouTube and hit that publish button, it's published. Nobody can not steal it. It belongs to you. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to stick together from here on out. So I'm going to get with the people who I want to get with, and I'm going to get back with you. I'm going to look at my um this live. I'm going to go back. I'm going to hit you up in your comments, let you know what we got going on. And I want to create that space to where we can help each other with ideas, um, get further. If we got to pull up some finances to put toward one great project, we can do it. Because I got a web series coming out, too. I didn't want to announce it right now, but I'm doing a web series, too, on my channel. It's going to be a six a six episode series to start it with, and we're going to run with it because it's real. Something that's been done but never been done, how I'm coming out of my angle. Like I said, it's 95% business and 5% talent. And I'm coming with the, I know the business. I know the business. And business is half the battle. You can't rob me or fool me. 
Yeah. Marlon review, Reviews. I think I hit you up today or yesterday, but I'll be at you tomorrow. I'll be on your, on your channel, liking your stuff, watching the whole video. And I'm going to be thumbs up in it and leaving a good comment because that's what we that, that's the least we deserve. And we're going to give that to each other. So we're going on two hours. If anybody got something they want to say at this time, let me know because we're going to be out. And I got to get up my man T history in a minute. So if you got something you want to say, I appreciate you for coming through. I'm, I'm being sincere, coming from the heart. And we're going to change the narrative with our community. You know, I'm not going to promise you that because only fools make promises. But I'm going to try to get us to a different place and a different space because we deserve that. I'm going to get with my peoples and talk to them. I'm going to get with you guys, some of you guys, because you guys got it. You guys got that thing. And it can only be described as that thing. The special things only come around every so often. So you know who you are and you got it. So if I ain't cheap, thank you for coming through. I'm glad talking. You always ears. You got your feedback. I appreciate you. I love what you're doing. Marlene Reviews, I salute. Thank you for coming through. Everybody, you know, I'm going to sign out on you guys. And I'll get with you guys on Friday. We're going to talk more. We're going to laugh more. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna talk about the good, the bad, the ugly on these YouTube streets because it shouldn't be all bad. Change the narrative. Let's put some sun over these gray skies. We have to do that. Real mama, salute. I'm going to sign off, everybody. Peace. Have a blessed night. I pray that all you just wake up in the morning. Have a good day. Have a good week. Have a good month. Have a good year. And I pray that everything go back to normal with this corona thing. I'm signing out. Peace.